welcome to this week's upload. My name is Emma Sticker Brown for hauls and vlogs and chats. How the devil are you? What's the weather like where you are? I'm obsessed with the weather as I am British at the moment. It's sunny. That doesn't mean it's not going to rain in 10 minutes. It could be. It could be raining. It could be snowing. We don't know. But yeah, I managed to get a bit of wash on the line today, which is fantastic. Scary thing is, summer. I can see it on the horizon. That's my binoculars. Summer holidays are just around the corner, which means I'm going to get organised. Loads of you have asked for a, um, just going to take these off, put them down. Loads of you have asked for a uh, homey vlog, and that's what you're going to get today. Homey vlog. You will have seen in, um, a video recently, or one coming up, that I went out and got loads of cleaning supplies. We were just run out. We got to the bottom of everything, so I went and got loads of that. So I'm going to organise the utility room today, maybe under the kitchen, just kind of get tidied and get ready. Because summer, for me, is just six kids, six kids, oh my gosh, could you imagine? Two kids, six weeks. Six kids, two weeks. It, no, two kids, six weeks. Uh, so I need to get everything sorted, really. So it's all organised. Good news for me, HelloFresh box has arrived. Huzzah! As you know, I've been having HelloFresh for years, years and years on this channel. I've been having HelloFresh. We get three meals a week, which really helps because the kids have loads of clubs. The clubs are kind of coming to an end though. Uh, we've still got a few here or there, but towards the summer, they're kind of like trail off a bit. Uh, so we might like adjust because you can with HelloFresh you can adjust what how many meals you have you can pause it for a bit um, but at the moment we're still getting three a week I will show you what I got in our box this week I love HelloFresh because everything becomes perfectly portioned so you're not wasting anything as I said we get three meals a week and also it gives us inspiration to try some new stuff so this week we've got a chicken and pepper fajita bowl. Never had that before and I know my girl absolutely loves Mexican. So I know she will love that. We have also got a, a tagliatelle and meatballs. And um, blimey, that was saying tagliatelle. It's quite difficult. That looks lush. And we've never had this before either. Super quick peri peri rice bowl and quick 12 to 15 minutes. What? Uh, the quick ones are good because uh, when you've got to rush out to a club and they need to come in or even like if they're going out with their mates or whatever you can just get a good meal done quickly and as I said you're not wasting anything because everything's perfectly portioned. Are we ready? Are we going to get our hands up? This is the bit I like when I put the QR code up because I think it's so clever. So yeah you can scan the QR code also you can use my code to get 60% off your first box. 25% off the next two months. And wait for it, I'm going to bow and I'm going to jump up because this is really exciting. Free desserts for life! <laughs> Who doesn't want free desserts for life? I want free desserts for life. So yeah, scan the QR code. I will leave everything below. I will leave um, the code that you need to use. Everything should be here or down below. You can scan the code. Um, whilst I'm finishing this little bit now, I will show you what Stephen cooked. I'm, I'm hoping it's the chicken and the pepper for heat bowl. You'll be able to see. I know it's going to be delicious because it always flipping is. The man is an absolute marvel. So yeah, definitely check out HelloFresh. Check out the link in the description. Um, use the QR code and don't forget it is 6% off your first box, 25% off your next two months. And are we ready? I'm going to go back from the back now. Free desserts for life. I love desserts. Okay, guys, let's go and do some organising. I think we will start with the utility room. I'm planning on pulling it out, cleaning, rearranging, and putting it back. And you, my friends, are going to keep me company because you are amazing. <gasps> let's go! Hello, you beautiful humans. I'm in my bedroom and I bought a few bits from Primark, which you may have seen on Instagram because I want to sort out little bits of my wardrobe. Um, I'm quite excited. And when I put this on Instagram, people are like, oh, this is going to be a terrible angle. Can we just embrace it? <laughs> I should have picked it up before I flipping put the vlog on. I bought 
for a stackable shoe boxes, I'm unsure of what the quality is going to be like. They've been sat in the corner. It was £10. Now there's a sticker over the top of it. What did it say underneath it? Oh, I can't say. I wonder what it was before. But it says £10. I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. This. Here is the issue. <laughs> it's not too bad, but I could have like... Oh my God. No, I couldn't. I was going to say I could have eight. No, I couldn't. I want a like... It, there's like room for height, isn't there? There's room for height. So I feel like if I put them in, then I can organise this nicely and then I'm going to clean down the bottom. So in my wardrobe I have... Um, I'll just show you. I'm sure... It, this is supposed to be for like Converse and trainers. This is supposed to be like for summer shoes, like Crocs and sandals and well, what. And then this is usually trainers and boots. And then over here, I have um, little, like, sandals and stuff that I don't wear very often. And then I've got two more pairs of boots there. So I'm going to open the boxes. And let me put the light on. Let's put a little bit of light on the situation. Oh, wow, that made zero different. I'm going to get the shoes out clean make the boxes and let's see if it's life-changing or rubbish i don't know what i was expecting but it wasn't this so you've got one that like open and i end that opens and then an end that doesn't open and i'm gonna somehow by the miracle of miracle of magic um, see, there's no lines, is there? I think they're economy. There's no lines on that. Is there? Economy. Doesn't look like that, does it? Is it an AI shoebox? Right, let's try and put these together. <laughs> Why am I finding this weirdly hard? believe I've got a master's and I used to be a teacher I think I have to I'm gonna I'm gonna try one it's not what, I don't know what I was expecting but it wasn't this it wasn't this guys I feel I think I'm supposed to be clicking something I've had to ask Stephen I, I can't the instructions on the back I can't work it out what are these flaps for? I don't understand. If you could make them for me, I will give you... Four Mawam. Is that a good offer? Yeah, okay. Good luck. I can't do it. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Who knew Primark wouldn't make <laughs> Right, Stephen's going to smash this and we're going to have four. That's going to be the next scene, four brilliant boxes. How do you feel knowing that you've earned yourself four Malam? Oh, yeah, I'm finished. <laughs> A little bit more. <laughs> One Malam per shoebox. Why did I find that so hard? It wasn't logical, was it? Maybe maybe you could sell your services going around making these shoe boxes for people. Yeah. They better stand the test of time when I put them in there, or do you think they're gonna fall apart as soon as I put shoes in them? I will tell. <laughs> well this is filthy. I'm listening to a podcast um while I tidy up because it's my favourite thing to do. But this is disgusting, I'm going to clean it. Ta da <laughs> I managed to get it fixed in, in a jigsaw kind of Dialy, um, I've gone for my saltwater sandals and Tevas there. I've gone for my um, Havianas and my Birkenstocks. I've got a pair of trainers in here that I use um, when I start. When I have my heart thing done, I think I'll be able to just run normal again. Woohoo! 
So I've got one of the space there. There's a space for a little pair of shoes there. There I've got some Crocs. Here I've got um, Uggs and there's a bit of a space to think else there. And here I've got my Converse that I love. And then behind there I've got my long boots. So I actually think this was a success. £10, not sure how long they'll last, but they look nice. These all click into place. There's clicks at the bottom. These don't because they're the wrong way around. Um, but yeah, I like them. I think they look nice and tidy. So I'm very pleased. You could store like handbags in it maybe or you could store anything in it really. It probably would be better to put like my nice pretty shoes in it. But um, I just wanted somewhere to hold all of my shoes. And these are the trainers that I kind of... Well, these are just my two pairs of trainers that I gravitate to most for like school runs, walking the dog. So I can just grab those off the top. Lovely. I went to Tiger and I grabbed myself a little pot. Tiger's got some lovely stuff in it. Let me know if you ever want me to do a shot with me. I think this is like a little finger bowl or maybe something to put a dip in or something. Um, but tis the season of little summer bracelets and things like that and friendship bracelets and you know stuff you get off your holidays I've got quite a few on my wrist there can you see so I just wanted this to just put them in really just have them easy access um kind of like the it's jewelry isn't it but it's like the jewelry that you don't mind being out because it Gets a bit wrecked if you leave your um, metal stuff out. Well, she's lovely, isn't she? Lovely. Uh, okay, I'm going to tidy up the rubbish and get it ready for the recycling. I also bought this one. Maybe I might swap. I have a little... Yeah, I don't know where I'm going to put this, but I thought this was really cute as well. I do have a little one on the side for my um, HRT and stuff, and I might actually put it in here because I think this looks a little bit nicer. Uh, it, I know, it's, 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 is it weird to have HRT in a nice tub next to your bed? But I have to have a tablet at night and then I have the gel in the morning. I mean, it's next to the bed. I just remember it, it's just part of my routine now. Somebody's beeping out there to agree with me. So I think I will swap that over. Hello, lovely ones, beginner restock my toy not toiletries what would i call it like product storage um actually i need to go and get a couple of the dog is just trip trip tropping do your dogs just follow you continuously <laughs> she follows me everywhere like my little shadow I need to come in here and get my washing pods. Back in focus. Um, I need to come and get these because I need to bring film weights as well. Hello, I'm back. You all right? I'm going to put it down here. No, come and pop it in the washing machine. Love, put them both in the washing machine, not the washing basket. Down here. Thank you. He's, uh, sorry, this is a very unflattering close oh that's worse uh, he's <laughs> he's swimming at the moment with school so he's just come back and he needs to put his stuff in the washing machine there we go lovely i am going to refill my bits so these are from ikea old ikea and i put stickers on and i'm going to fill in my um stuff so if you remember from the home bargains haul we've got spring awakening it is a beautiful smell it's a gorgeous smell if you're like oh you look a bit fancy i was at um i was at a podcast thing today <laughs> it's one is it one of these child proof lots oh my god it's a child safe system she gone in it she gone in the end. So I'm gonna pop these in here. Now let's put the bop the few at the bottom. I don't does it really make any difference with washing products? Probably not, but I'm gonna put the new one ones at the bottom. Um and then the old ones at the top. So we'll have lots of nice 
freshly stored washing tablets. Lovely. Oh, that fits perfectly. So that is... I do think I need to get a new one of these. I don't know what's happened to it. It's gone a little bit. Don't, doesn't seem to like suction cup as well anymore. I don't know why. It's a bit annoying. <gasps> okay, and then I'm going to put the unstoppables. Oh, guys, I'm going to... I'm going to just shove them in. I can't get them out. I could probably get a bowl and a spoon maybe. But I'm not going to do that. So I do apologise. Please don't shout at me. But I will say... It's a bit moist on the top. Probably because... Um, it's in the room with the tumble dryer. Again. Lenore. It smells delicious. Spring awakening. So... I'm ready for satisfaction. I can get no satisfaction. Oh no. I could have got two, couldn't I? One of those giant ones from um, Home Bargains. Gonna always make sure you keep a little cup. This is from an old one. I don't find these probably quite as good, but I've always keep a little cup. You give it a shake first. So all the old ones and new ones are all mixed together. And there's a few rogue pink ones. She's done. Wonderful. Done. Done. Ready to go back. And you know what? I might even give the outside a little bit of a clean. Because that's how I'm feeling. Okay. This thing here is where I store all of our um, cleaning products. Like our spares. Perhaps you wouldn't call it spares, would you? What would you call it? Extra spares? Or maybe you would call it spares. So I'm going to take it all out, give it a little bit of a clean, and then um, there's a spider web I just saw. I, won't, I shan't show you. I shan't show you. And then restock it. So this is just like a shower paddy, but it fits perfectly down the side of the um, washing machine. That's really handy. Handy dandy. Is it on there? Can you see it? I'll have to give it a little bit of a spray. That is definitely what I would call a bit of webage, a bit of spider webby stuff. On the bottom no thank you no thank you it's got a little bit dusty um yeah we don't really have a lot of storage room in there my ideal would be to get the whole utility room um done with like wooden stuff how cool would that be um like all shelving that would be the absolute buddy. Like she's looking a little less dusty. I'm actually going to stock on here and then Stephen might have to carry it. Vinegar to clean the washing machine. But also I use these. Um, we've got a spring blossom. <laughs> Went out and bought another one. Spring blossom. So I've got those. We can use two of those. That's good. Um, what else should I put? Oh no, I'm going to move these up here. Hang on, how do I have it? Have it that way. Do I have it? I have it that way. Move those up there. Um, you down here, it's not a very flattering angle, but you'll see a bit better. There's there. That, that, there. And I think I will put, I've got a few hand washes. Um, but like different seasons, like I've got this Val um, Halloween one. That I didn't use. These are new ones. So I'll put those there. And I think I've got a couple in 
I think I've got a couple in the bathroom. Entertain yourself while I look for them. I've got a couple of Christmas ones. A couple of Christmas ones. So I'm going to put those on there as well. So the dove ones are the ones we use. gingerbread latte these are ones from Christmas that I didn't get to use so I can keep those because I've got Halloween ones and Christmas ones how marvellous is that now on the bottom I have some sca sponge scourers uh, so I'm going to put these here what else do I want to put on here the pink stuff Please give me suggestions of what pink stuff is good for cleaning with. Give it a bit of a clean wash. There. Pet hair dissolver. For hair free bed petting, bed petting, pet bedding and washing machines. Mm. Go down there as well. Okay. And then on the top I'm going to put Top, yeah, you can have the taller stuff on the top. So I've got some spirits. I've got a little washing thing. I've got a little, um, I bought two of those, Seems used one. So I'm going to put that on there. A more scan. See if I've got anything in the sink I can put in there. I don't think I have. A little bit of room at the back so I can get some more bits and bobs. Okay, perfect, lovely. Another little job I wanted to do is I am going to, um, I want to keep these in the same. I'm going to take one out, I don't want to use both of them. Oh, I'm not sure I did that very good. Okay. spare one in here so I'm going to put this we have over here uh, can you see a little Ikea thing that we keep all the school shoes in and school trainers in when they bother putting them in God, classes. but I did clean it out of there but sometimes it can get a little bit stinky so I'm going to put one of these underneath that there I think that should um smell that's different smell nice so i'm going to put that down there underneath there and for like spring summer i've gone for this little set from method um peach blossom peach and pink pepper peach blossom the watermelon ones is it watermelon no rhubarb ones really nice let me know if you know where you get mrs meyer's stuff because i do really like mrs meyer's stuff and i haven't been able to find it also these are doing marvellously. I went to Instagram and asked for advice. People are saying I need to let them grow a bit more. So um, I think. I'm wondering. Maybe it's time to take it out of there. And perhaps I'll put it on like a plate. Because obviously this one. It might, is this like keeping it confined? Yeah I think I'll put it on a little plate. There we go. I've got a little bit more room to grow now. Um, hopefully they'll be, I'm going to get them to grow a bit bigger and then I'll put them outside but I know that this slugs are supposed to be a bit rubbish at this time of year so I will uh, I'll look after them don't worry I'll keep your progress progress I'll keep you I'll keep you updated the last couple of things is I bought this up which I want to have my candles up here do you know what I'm going to light a candle up here Soft blanket, Yankee candle. Gosh, my phone's ringing. Should we see who it is? Oh, it's my friend. Love you, bye. <laughs> I think I ended by saying love you. Um, it was my friend Sarah at Taming Twins calling for a little gossip. We all have a little gossip with our friends. My my curls slightly dropping out now. 
So, I have got this, um, which is fabulosa, but this little, because it's on the end of the um, wardrobe by the wall, it seems to get a bit damp, like in the back corner. So I'm going to let me know. I'm going to hang it up here. But let me know if you can think of a better suggestion and maybe I could move it. Uh, that would be very helpful. Thank you very much. But yeah, I pulled a couple of bags out and they've they were like they had like um damp on them and i was like no i don't want that many nice bags other things i have i'm not gonna do these today i got these i don't really know what i'm supposed to do with them again please leave suggestions do you hang them up and then hang hangers off them i don't think they'll fit in my wardrobe but i did think maybe i could use them in the kids wardrobes especially my girls wardrobe i could perhaps maybe have one for my boys wardrobe and have all these football tops hanging off it and one for my girls wardrobe and maybe have like white tops or like specific tops or school shirts but let me know please best use of three space saving hangers thank you um and another thing that i need to do is and i'll do this in another video i want to make a little pack for my car do you know what maybe i'll do no i'm gonna do this tomorrow i'm gonna finish the video off doing this tomorrow so i'm going to make a little pack in my car of essentials and i'm going to put it in my car because i'm really cleaning up my car nicely and that is my plan so come back for that and um it will be in i can't guarantee i'll look as nice as this in fact i can probably guarantee i won't look as nice as this see you in three two one yay hello lovely ones i'm back it's the next day i've got a madonna t-shirt on i am spending the next couple of days really working on the podcast if you don't know i have a podcast called the phone box podcast it's about 80s 90s and noughties teenagers first snogs fashion faux pas we talk loads about music and films and I am editing two episodes and I'm recording one episode today. So makeup free. But I wanted to show you the one thing that I wanted left to organise. So I've been on TikTok and I've stumbled on like people organising their cars. I have a very small car. I have not got things I can lift up and organise and put things in. I've got a side bit where I usually shove a brolly. But I it did make me think, right, like, clean it. So first of all, I cleaned all my car, vacuumed it polished it did it all so it looks so nice sprayed it with air freshener not air freshener like febreze put a yankee candle air freshener in lovely and i've got a first aid kit and i've got a brolly and i've got a picnic blanket and i've got dog lead dog toys and a like a blanket to wrap up the dog in case she gets wet but i thought i need like a little emergency like lady kit emergency lady kit i'm gonna call it that so this is what i've done I just wanted like a little pouch, so I'm going to take these out and put them downstairs with our miniatures and then I'm going to fill it with everything that I think I need, um, wipes and hand gel. Now do note, if you leave these in your cart a long time, sometimes the hand gel can just like evaporate and they, those can sometimes dry up but they should last a few months just in case I need them. I'm going to put some of these in just in case. And there's some sort of like emergency, some hair bubbles. I'm going to put some paracetamol in. I'm also going to put this in, which is from my friend Sarah, her book. So for trolleys, I'm going to put a pound in for trolleys. I'm going to put a pack of tissues in. And then I bought myself a new um, phone charger because I've now got one of the phones that it's not a USB one, it's a C one. So I had to get a whole new phone charger, but I'm going to keep the old phone charger in just in case somebody else wants to borrow it. Almost like I'm like a little Uber. So let's see if I can fit all of this in here as well as a pack of tissues. I came down to get the tissues. Okay, so we've got wipes in. We've got tissues in. We have, I wish this was a tiny bit bigger, but this is kind of like, this is really the only size I can fit in. We've got hand sanitizer in. We've got some bobbles or hair ties, whatever you call them. They can go in. We've got some sanitary stuff. Just in case it's an emergency, you know, perimenopausal, you never know when anything's 
going to bop up out of the blue. I've got a pound because some trolleys only take pounds. And I've got a trolley thing. Do I attach it? I'm going to attach it. I've got a trolley thing and I'm going to attach it to the zip. Can I attach it to the zip? Sometimes I struggle with keyrings. <laughs> Sometimes I struggle. Attached it. I've attached it. Attached it. And paracetamol. Perfect. Or that can go in the side of my car. Like that. So I've got that. Just as like a little Emma, it should be like marked as Emma's emergency kit. And I've got a first aid kit and instead I've got all the other stuff. I'm going to put the charger in the armrest alongside the um, other charger, which is for uh, uh, older phones. Um, and I feel like I'm sort of, I'm going to really like try and make it, because sometimes with mum cars, it can end up like a mum mobile, can't it? And it's just absolutely full of mud snack wrappers receipts so i'm going to try i cannot undo this for the life of me i'm going to try and make it um a bit more of a nicer space and you're probably like emma that's ridiculous and i'm pro and i'm going to be like yeah you are in fact right but do you know what it makes me happy so i'm going to try and attach this all together it's a bit complicated. I'm hoping this charger saves my life because when you get a new phone and all the all the chargers you've ever had, right, she's done, she's done, and I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you had. It was a bit of a homey one. Lots of you requested it. Please leave in the comments. Little dog cough in the back. Please, I'm wondering if I turn around if my hair is just completely straight at the back. I think I might have just done it at the front. Please leave in the comments what kind of video you'd like me to do next. Um, would you like me to go somewhere? Would you like me to sh take you somewhere? I've got a real busy next few weeks coming up, so I could take you on adventures. I'm going to... Um, when are you watching this? I'll have just been to see, or I'm going today to see Liam Gallagher with Stephen. I've got all sorts of adventures coming up. So if you want to see adventures, let me know. Um, don't message me on Brummy Mummy of Two. Don't forget to go and check out the Hello Fresh. Could you please let me know if you saw a ghost in the background? Uh, don't forget to go and check out the Hello Fresh code and link it in the description. I love you lots and I'll see you next week for another upload. Chat to you in the comments. Bye guys. P.S. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Love you. Bye.